Thanks. Take nice, a nice camel. Thank you. Take my picture like this in my camel. Have a good day. You too. Yes. So I mentioned this uh, yesterday, but I made the exact same route as the, the guy who inspired me to, to do 360 videos to record my trips. Um, he was, he actually made another video talking about the scams here. It's exactly correct. Like, yeah. yeah, anyone who asks you anything, tries to give you anything, and mentions the word photo, you just say no. Um, and actually though, you know, I, I get people who say, oh, it's too many, too, you know, too much of this, but actually it doesn't bother me, because if you say la shukran, you say no thank you, they'll leave you alone, and they're friendly, they know they're, they're trying to scam, and, but I did see three uh, American women over there, who were in an argument with the guy, showing him their wallet, saying this is all we have, so clearly they got scammed a little bit. So the one behind me, as you probably already know, that's Khufu. Khufu is a, obviously a pharaoh. Um, that's the Great Pyramid. Uh, the one on my left is uh, Kalfra. That's the actual name that ends with, the last two end with Ra, because they're named after you know, the sun god, Kalfra. That's his son, that's Khufu's son, who is pretty smart because he built a smaller pyramid, but he built it on higher ground. So it looks as big as his father. I hate tour buses, actually, they suck. All right, let's cross the street here. I'm flying down to Aswan tonight to go to uh, Abu Simbel and to do the Nile cruise from Aswan back up to Luxor. So I kind of have to be back in my hotel by say 11.30 so I can shower and do all that. So I'm going to go around, I think I can go around. This, I'm not sure if I can. Hold on. I know you can't go down that side, but I want to get to this Sphinx, so maybe I'll go this way. So on the, in, in uh, Kafra here, on the right side, way to my right, around that corner, you, you can't actually walk in there blocked off. I found that out yesterday. But this road here goes up to like the viewpoint where they, they all take you to take photos and try and sell you camel rides back to the desert. My guide yesterday kept trying to upsell me to camel rides and writing my name in papyrus and getting this, that and the rest. So um, I don't think she was very happy at the end of the day because I didn't buy anything. I told her the story of when I was in uh, Germany in 1989. I was there when the Berlin Wall came down. So naturally I got like a whole cookie jar actually, like a tin cookie jar, big one, full of Berlin Wall chips. 
And uh, I carried those fuckers with me until I left Japan in 2015. I remember I brought a bunch of my stuff in Japan to these students, like CDs, everything I didn't want because I was moving to Thailand. I said, you guys can take whatever you want. They took most stuff. But when I told them about the Berlin Wall chips, only one student took one. And I think that's just because he felt bad for me because no one, no one even knew what it was, of course. I mean, people are too young now, right, to, to know that history, certainly in Japan where they don't, they have no concept, no accurate concept anyway of international history. These kids. Must be a school trip. It's good. Remember that when you're a kid, you go on school trips and you know everything's so exciting. And we might go to like, you know, a lake or some shit. <laughs> like these guys are going to the pyramids. But I get it, like even after two days here, and my hotel's like right in front of the pyramids. Like literally, I'm right in front of the Sphinx. Um, you get normalized to it, right? Anyway, back to the Berlin Wall. So yeah, I carried that stuff around uh, for years. And I'd look at it sometimes, but I didn't need to look at that to remember Berlin, you know? Um, most souvenirs that we collect are just, it's just junk you carry around. Um, uh, one reason I document a lot of stuff on video, like these 360 videos, and uh, TikTok, TikTok's, I mean, I've got most of my followers on TikTok. I got about 50,000 followers there. But I actually don't make TikToks for my followers. I do sometimes, because I want to show people stuff. But in general, I do stuff because I like to be able to look back and just get that memory blast from that. Some more granite. I asked my guide yesterday about this granite because most of the, these, these rocks are actually limestone. And she said, no, no. She said they had a lot of granite up there as well to protect it. This granite is so much harder, but... I have a question. Maybe you know. In the huh. um, Valley of the King, they contacted uh, the front. But why don't they... Why do, it, do you know why they do it there? And in other places, not? Actually, that guy raised an interesting question. So in the Great Pyramid behind me, it's lost 10 meters of its top due to erosion. So apparently, up until a couple of years ago, the government had put something on top of it, um, you know, to show what it looked like. And some young Egyptian guy just went in there and toppled it, just kicked it off. He got arrested, but he's like, no, we shouldn't, we should accept these ruins for the way that they are naturally, which I agree with. She also said that, uh, I don't know if the, how true this is because my guide yesterday, she she hinted that she thinks that the pyramids might be built by aliens, so. Um, she said that the Masons had offered to put, you know, a solid gold top on it. Uh, but that, the, you know, the government had refused. So I don't know if there's any truth in that or not, but. See, that would be fun actually doing a camel ride. Right? One more day, I might do a camel ride. Right? Okay, so my other video, which I'll also post. Um, I gotta get over here somehow. I went down in this area. If you look here, kind of, it's, well, it's a 360. So you'll see two kind of columns and this kind of ruined or just kind of where this guy is. Right to my left. To the left of where 
um, the direction I'm walking in. So this is the, all of these pyramids had two auxiliary structures. One was the, the chamber where they embalmed them, which took days, like 40 to 70 days. And then they also had something for their temple cult. Because, you know, when they died, they were gods. And therefore, um, how do people worship? Where do they go to worship? Well, they went right here. It's not much left. I have no idea about the history. Um, I'm going to look into it, but uh, that's what the guy told me yesterday. Now I'm trying to find my way down to the Sphinx. So I'm just going to follow the camel train. These camels are hilarious, the sounds they make. Hello. Good. Good, thanks. No, not today, thanks. Just English? English, yeah. Thank you. I'm from Canada, actually. Canada dry, never die. Canada dry, never die. There you go. Yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm actually flying to Aswan. In, I leave in two hours. Oh, really? Okay. Ah, uh, nice. Well, okay, so Nubian. Ah. I agree. I agree. I agree. Good people, bad people everywhere. From Canada, but. My 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 parents are British, so Where? my parents are from England, but I was born in Canada. But okay. Just fine. Don't worry, man. Don't hey. Worry. Yeah, well, nice to meet you. What's your name? Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Okay. My name's Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you have a nice day. Ah, uh, well, I've just got my 360 now. So. Propaganda. <laughs> Propaganda. No, I just have I just have my 360. So. This is not a. Uh, no, nah, it's okay. It's okay. I have to go. No, nah, it's okay. Thanks. I'm sure many of you are saying, why didn't you just take the camel ride? Because, you know, it's a camel ride. Yeah, uh, but after having spent years of my life traveling, uh, I kind of don't really like, once you get wrapped up in a situation like that, it just becomes them, first it's a camel ride, and then in this, the other scam they do here is, they give you a little price, but then to get off the camel, they charge you more, believe it or not. That's a real thing. So, and for sure along the way, they're gonna be trying to sell you who knows what, right? So. I, I might do it in a group like this. It's always a bit safer in groups. Because they can they have less time to kind of individually target people so you can kind of enjoy a chat take photos agree to a full price including everything and they'll be happy you'll be happy but one-on-one -on -one it's just it's constant constant uh, chatter to try and build confidence same thing happened with other guides I've, I've known
Get out of jail free card there. Alright, let's go down to the Sphinx. Actually, I think I'll shut this off for a bit because 